Well, what do we got here? The CH3517 dash G10 from CH Knives, okay? And you know, when I first started this channel in what, 2016, July of 2016, I mean, CH Knives were some of the first thing I ever put on my channel. So he had already left Kaiser, I mean, Chen Ping had already, the owner here, had already left Kaiser and started up his own manufacturing. So, wow. And this one's interesting. A lot of jimping going on here. Very slender. You know, very slender looking. And these, you can get these, well, you can get some of the CH knives at White Mountain Knives and use LTK as a discount code to get 10% off. Um... Also, I will put the link to Knives Spot, K-N-I-V-E-S-S-P-O-T dot uh, com. And you can get them there. And that's the main CH knife place to get your CH knives in, you know, without going to AliExpress and stuff like that. Uh, so, and, you know, you can get some on Amazon too, I believe. He's still letting Ethan Growl kind of distribute some of his knives, but they're not a CH knife unless they say CH knife on the blade. So watch that, okay? But this one's D2. And will the knife become a knife? Wow, huge piece, huge piece of paper there. Ah, crap. Okay, yes, it's sharp though. What the heck? I mean, I pulled out a, a piece from that stack and it's a little teeny piece. Um, yeah, don't trust that blade to swing around, huh? Front flipper, lots of jimping up here, but I mean, he's, he's trying to get you to kick it open that way. And fairly quick over the detent ball. Not bad. Centered. <clears throat> No blade player lock rock. There's your lock up mm, 20 to 25 percent at best. Um, pocket clip, not deep carry, unfortunately, but yeah, it'll get the job done. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, you know, it kind of starts up and then it kind of levels out right there. And those catch my pocket pretty good. So I've got no complaint there. I've got no complaint against their D2 steel. We tested it with, uh, you know, analyzer and it's D2. And um, we did some Rockwells on it. And I think they looked real good as well. So, uh, you know, should be a good little user for the rock and what, 32 bucks or something that they cost. So, uh, yeah, I mean, these are nice and the quality is good too. Check it out. It's G10. Contoured. Pretty heavy old uh, spacers on here. And, uh, you know, look at the liners. They're not nested or anything, so they're showing. So that gives it that, you know, really, it, it's tough. I mean, it's a tough little knife. Uh, it doesn't weigh much, though. Where is my little scale? I don't think it weighs much. Let's see what it is. We're we going to start with grams first. 83 grams. So that gives you an idea right there. 2.9 ounces. Yeah, under 3 ounces. Now, but it's not tiny. Okay. Um, it's 3.5 inch blade. And 7 and 3 quarter overall. Weird. The blade length is about the same as a paramilitary 2. But a PM2 is like 8 and a quarter overall length. And this one's mm, 7 and 3 quarter. Right on. And not quite 20 centimeters. And, you know, it's got mm, close to 90 millimeter blade length. About more like 88, I guess. But almost all of that blade is cutting length. So, and probably somebody's going to say, can you flick it open with this? Let me try. No, no, you can't. No, no. Oh, <laughs> only an expert can do that. Well, it's not super easy. And don't eat grandma's greasy fried chicken before you do this. 
Okay, yeah. You can do it. It's just not a lot showing there. But really, probably the thinner and younger and more nimble your fingers are, the easier it'll be for you to do. So you can do it that way. You can use the front flipper. There's, I mean, you know, like you've got the meta, the real steel Metamorph G5 thing. This is, you know, this is a thin knife like that. And so if you can get away with front flipping the Metamorph, you can get away with front flipping this. And this detent is, is pretty solid. I can't throw it out. So it almost maybe could have been a little less solid when especially when you got a front flipper but listen to that thing open yeah it's it it made a kind of a hollow ringing sound when it hit there it was it was boom it was right there so i don't know it'd be nice if they came out with some other colors and i can't remember what you have for options they don't give you a lot when it comes to the g10 lineup because you know, what are you going to do uh, and still keep it at that price? But the hardware looks pretty good for the price range. You got a lanyard hole, tubed. No, it's not tubed. Sorry. And, you know, but it's an open design. should be easy to clean. And yes, it's skeletized liners. And yes, we will take it apart. And yeah, all right. It's cool. Oh, it comes in a box, by the way. Amazing, you get a box too? They're no end. Um, and you know, it's kind of, it's not really a fitted box per se, but it's one, see where these foam ends kind of come in, hold it in place. And the box is tough. I mean, it's strong. It beat the hell out of a Spyderco box, the hell out of a ZT box, <laughs> that kind of thing. Of course, you know, Spyderco and ZT are way less expensive. Yuck, yuck. So, yeah, I mean, ergos are pretty straight up here. I mean, there's nothing really to contend with here. Okay. Um, cutting it loose here. It's got a lot of jimping here. Not a whole lot of differential between the front scale in here. But still easy to disengage. And then um, easy to cut the end of your thumb open with the blade as it drops out. So, you know... Get ready for that, my friend. You're gonna have to master the master the fidget factor on your own, but you can do that. And you could probably adjust this drop. It's a little stiff for right now, but uh, we're gonna take it apart and uh, check it out. And then we'll adjust this pivot when we throw it back together. So how fat are you, buddy? 13.3.52, so it ain't a skinny mini, and 0.11, so was that three, yeah, three millimeter blade stock. Should be a slicey little, and also, you know, picking labels and just kind of getting through the tape of that box of that brand new hinderer you just bought. <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you're so happy that you didn't spend $700 on, on this one. So, you know, you can afford to actually use and carry this one where the hinder is just going to be a point of pride maybe. Um, yeah, this is kind of how I roll. I mean, I just grab a D2 knife or even some with 8CR and use them like a dog, like a, like a redheaded stepchild, you know. And then, you know, you can strop them back up, sharpen them back up. It's pretty easy. Okay, we're probably going to have to have Paching number eight, Paching number six in the, in the mix, right? So we'll go backside, but we've got two entry points. So let's see which one gives easier. And they both spin like a, spin like a loose bearing, don't they? Hold on, let me see if I can, without having to hit it from the other side. Screw that, okay. Next, number eight. Let's pluck it apart. Yeah, don't mess with me. But, you know, I'm okay with this as long as they give me uh, the way to bust this thing open. Wow. They had that baby locked down good and hard, didn't they? And I don't know which way I'm, 
Well, I guess I am taking this out the right way. Wow. Whew. They had her cooked. Um, you know, the problem is I had a Savivi knife in. And uh, where is that? <laughs> little sucker won't break apart. This one could not break it apart. And look at how the head's turned. Even though it's still flush, it must have knocked the notch right out of there. Okay. So in, the, in that case... Hell, just give me an entry on both sides and let me stabilize it and cut it loose. Or put a D-shaped pivot in it if you're going to do your logo on the front there. I mean, one or the other, folks. And I just about boogered up a, a number eight, about stripped the hole out, trying to get that Civivi busted loose. And I'm in the middle of wee knives, you know, trying to get back to me on it. Okay. There we go, G10. And what's going on here? Well, we've got a lot of skeletonized liner hanging around. And, well, we got an internal blade stop here rolling through that travel area. So, let's see if we can just pop this liner off, which it looks like it's planted pretty hard on there. Let's... Let's roll it like this and see if we can. Because, wow. Let's use this as a fulcrum. Shan't we? Wow. I'm impressed. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm starting to pick things up. Okay, once you get this off, then you can kind of probably work with this. And uh, get that wallard off. It's working its way up. There it goes. Whoosh. Amen, brother. And there's our little old liner. And there's our little old... Oh, these are presentation side. So I roll them like this. Kind of, kind of, sort of. And what do we got here? We got just regular steel bearings. Not, not ceramic, but that's okay. I don't care. All right. And we have a nice round pivot. So if this had logo on the front or whatever, whew, man, we would be in all kinds of hurt, wouldn't we? That would be uh, bad because I would have never busted this thing loose. So, but I mean, I don't care if you do that, but just, you know, if you're not going to do a D-shaped or whatever, then that's, that's fine. That's fine. Because I can get it from both sides. I don't bust it loose. So let's put the baby doll back together. It looks like we've got a ceramic detent ball here. So, hmm, go figure. And throw these bearings back on. Call it good. And there we go with that. Can't tell if I put any lube on it or not, but I'm thinking it did. Okay, and next, ching some other bearings and yeah we got lube on that now put this liner back on it really sat down on that didn't it when we first pulled that out it was kind of strange how deep that sat down on this um oh let's get these lined up too which might be fun now that i already did the front see this come on there we go snap snap okay and pivot pin pivot screw and that's a number eight so give me my number eight damn it okay whoop we're going to ratchet. We're going to ratchet the right way, not the wrong way. Ooh, we may have to. I'm holding it from the other side still, but I don't think that's going to be the answer. I think I'm going to have to. Hold on. Let me move it to the middle position. I think it's just that for somehow they got, they got some Loctite in there or some thread locker of some sort that they didn't need to do. Come on. Okay. We got mostly there. We'll see if we need to do any more, but it looks centered. 
And uh, oh, we got a couple of screws to kick on here, at least one. We got two, wherever the uh, second one's over here, taking the day off. So, they look the same length. And we're good there. And we should be good there. Okay, come on, set it down. And there we go. And man, I'm starting to, you know, you get into enough knives, you start pulling them tines. That's why I like number eights better. Okay, let's just check and see where we are. Now, I still got a little bit more rock and roll on here. So let me, let me see where I want to go. Okay, I'm going to do this. It don't matter. I'm changing the tool from one hand to another, but not getting anything done. Okay, come here. You fool. Okay, loose. Tighter. I don't need to get super freaking tight. That's enough. I don't even know if I want it that tight. No, I don't want it that tight. Ain't gonna drop. Okay, let's loosen it up. It was centered. It was just it had just an ever so slight amount of play. So let's try this. Let's see if we can get it to cooperate. That's better. That's probably the way it was brand new. See what I'm saying? But let's check it. No, well, there's no play. So maybe just another little skosh of a turn just to give it a little bit more drop than it had initially. So it can come around and cut half my thumb off. Okay, yeah, that, that works, that works, okay. CH3517 G10, and uh, we're at the end, you know. Um, front flipper, they're getting in, you know, they're in vogue and have been for a little while, so I guess, you know, he just thought, eh, I'm gonna do some front flippers, and this isn't the only one. Uh, check a few ago, and I, I just did another front flipper from CH Knives. So yeah, but I mean, they're Ganzo pricing, you know, so, and it's real D too. So uh, I just can't knock it. it. It's a good little carry beater knife and you ain't gonna cry if you lose it. You know what we do around here? We love them knives and please subscribe to my channel. It sure helps me. Stay sharp.